So sea level rise, coastal erosion, huge problem. So this was six days ago. Um, we, this is a, a public roadway, public roadbed. You can see we have about uh, eight inches or so, eight to 10 inches of asphalt. We have some uh, underlayment. And then we basically just have regular uh, uh, bedrock and sediment and sandstone, all the, the regular stuff that's around here. Um, this road was put in uh, many decades ago um, and, and uh, asphalted again. If we look over here, we can see there's been some relatively fresh asphalting you can see at the top, but um, not a sustainable structure with um, altered sand supply. So the beach has been narrowing. One, two, um, uh, increasing sea level, uh, increasing sea level heights. This event, this specific event that happened here in late August of 2021, had very high tides. So we had a, about a plus seven foot tide when this happened. And so we undercut, you can see it right here, this is a great example. There's undertow, undercut, 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 and then you just have catastrophic collapse, right? And so what we have now on the beach right here, we have uh, stuff from up, up top. We have the bumper of the road, the, the edge of the road, um, the, the marker of the edge of the road is now, uh, you know, I don't know what that is. That's about eight feet, nine feet lower. All kinds of other crud is on here on the beach, etc. cetera. Uh, in addition to just the road itself being gone, if we go over here, you can see this. Um, in addition to the, the road itself being gone, other infrastructure has been impacted. So we have, Power uh, has been disrupted. Sewer has been disrupted. Um, culverts have been disrupted. So if you look right here, we can see that, that this particular um, this particular culvert under going underneath the roadbed was had a ton of sand in it, right? So that was not that that, that wasn't uh, that didn't come in during the construction. So this this amount of being half filled um, was because of the uh, waves bashing up and, and and knocking sediment up into this plugging up, if you will, this, this uh, area. Um, so all kinds of things are, are, are con knock on consequence of this. But for example, if we look right up, right up above us, um, access, in this case, this is private access, but also these homes are now much more threatened, right? So these homes up here that were on the edge of the cliff, um, they had at least the protection of this roadbed, so that it wasn't going to get wasn't going to get screwed up because the, the road would be would be protecting them to some extent. This road is now an eff effectively gone right here. They um, and you can see as we look to the left that uh, this th th this uh, this de degradation happened across this whole length over here because it has been several days. They've done some emergency uh, augmentation, both of large boulders and of additional sediment to try to stabilize this. They're going to try to do an aggregate roadbed. But this is all emergency. This right here, this image of downed pipes, broken pipes, um, messed up concrete, this is our future of the California coast if we don't properly deal with um, development in the coastal zone, um, riprap, all of these issues. We need to have a consistent, sustainable policy towards this or we're just gonna continue to have crisis upon crisis upon crisis. And this small example here on West, uh, Westward Beach is, um, really what's going to be happening throughout the entirety of Southern California and soon all of California and much of the world if we don't get serious about how to manage these, these situations.